This is a preview from one of our hair color master classes. In this session, we'll use a bottle and brush to apply a platinum blonde toner to hair that's already been bleached. And this is our model. Her hair is previously bleached to a level nine. She has a cool silver toner on top of her hair. She is a natural hair color level one and she has approximately one half inch of new growth. When you're doing a new growth application using any chemical, you should never allow the new growth to get over one half inch. Bleach and developer, they go into the cortex layer and they oxidize the pigments out of the uh, hair color cells. Now, when we go in with the toner, what we're affecting are the cuticle layers. And because the toners sit on the cuticle layers, they are very fragile and easy to burn off with uh, hot flat irons or hot curling irons or detergent shampoos. Let's get into this Platinum Blonde toner application. We're using the bottle and brush to apply this toner. And the reason we're using the bottle and brush method is because our hair is so short and we wanna make sure that we isolate the toner to a minimum of one inch of her new growth for the first 30 minutes of the toner application. We began with a classic uh, five panel sectioning and then we subsectioned because her hair is so short and we outlined each section with the toner and then we went in and we applied it liberally the toner to the nape area. The nape is the most resistant and the nape was the area where she had no bleach. Because she rocks a really tight nape line, that hair is always virgin. So we really go with an ombre hair color look. But on this session, we're going with a solid Hollywood platinum blonde. And to do that, you have to apply the toner in very small one eighth inch sections and like I said her hair was previously bleached so her mid shaft and ends are already at a level nine so as a professional colorist you would never go in and apply the toner all at one time roots to tip why especially if the hair was previously bleached because those ends that are already bleached are incredibly porous, okay? They will grab whatever you put on them really, really strong. So we're gonna run the toner through the ends, but we're gonna leave that for like the very, very last few minutes. The viscosity of the toner is rather thick. It's not running. They have professional additives that you can include in any hair color formula to thicken it up so that the product won't run. And when you're dealing with bleaches and toners, you want the product to stay exactly where you place it. You don't want to use cotton around the hairline because the cotton will absorb the toner product and it will result in uneven color distribution around the hairline. What you do want to use is some petroleum jelly around the hairline to protect the skin. Throughout the bleaching process and the toning process, we've had bond builders integrated into the formula. And before we started this uh, platinum blonde toner with the bottle and brush, we sprayed the hair with bond protectors. I can't stress enough how important it is to saturate the hair with any hair color product. And why is it so important? Because on textured hair, we have a lot more cuticle layers to deal with. Uh, oftentimes the hair is more dense, that's how many hairs per square inch. So what happens is our hair absorbs so much hair color that you can see here. I apply the product, I pat pat to distribute, then I go through and check and I have to apply more hair color product. Why is that? Because the previous product has been absorbed and the product needs to be absorbed into the cuticle layers in order for it to affect 
fix itself and to affect change. So I'm going in with the tail end of the brush to aerate the hair color. I'm allowing air and oxygen to get into in between the hairs in order to help the product work. Sometimes a stylist will put a cap on them and sit them under the dryer. Well, that's really not a good thing if you want to get into uh, professional hair coloring because what that does by putting a plastic cap on the client and placing them under a dryer, that turns a semi-permanent or a demi-permanent hair color into a permanent stain. And once the hair has been permanently stained, it's almost impossible to lift them to a cool level eight, nine, or 10. They will always pull up red orange. But when you use professional hair color products, they have professional color removers. And those removers can go in and identify the artificial dye molecules and they can just eliminate those. Our Platinum Blonde Toner application is complete. Our model's hair has been rinsed and rebonded. And this is her hair before we did a bleach touch-up and a platinum blonde toner. And this is her hair sculpted and wrapped, ready to go under an ionic hood dryer. We dropped a little keratin on top. And this is our model's hair completely dry. No sulfates, no mousse, no foam, no gel, no silicones. When we were in there removing the pigments, we broke some of the disulfide bonds, which helped us to relax and smooth out her curl pattern. Now we're going in with our nourishing lipid serum, and we're going to comb that through, and that's it. Once the hair is cut properly and the hair is nourished and polished, you don't even need to use a flat iron. Her hair is gorgeous, and it is platinum blonde from the roots to the very tips. And that's because of the uh, new growth bleach touch-up application and the way we applied the platinum blonde toner using a bottle and brush. How do you apply your toners? Do you use a bowl? Do you use a bottle? Or do you use both. Leave us a comment and please give us a thumbs up if you find our content helpful and subscribe and hit the notification button so you can see our next video which is of this model getting a razor haircut.